Hi there, welcome to the new lecture on Microsoft Azure designing for Azure Synapse Analytics. Let's say you want to have a real-time monitoring capabilities and based on that you want to take a decision. Let's take one uh, easiest way of example could be your company's stock prices moving on day-to-day uh, -day, up and down minute by minute right that's a real time and you wanted to monitor the data and you wanted to take the based on the previous history and the current trend based on that you would like to take some kind of you know action uh, based on the trends in the which are performing performance based in the past and current then this is the best uh, designing solution where you are going to utilize the Azure Synapse for this kind of you know analytics. So within this lecture, we are going to learn about Azure Synapse analytics, uh, where you you're going to learn about ingest data from external sources and then transform and aggregate this data into format table for analytic processing. And this lecture is going to focus more on high-level architecture and components parts of. Uh, synapse analytics and how it's gonna uh, you, you could you know start from Azure Synapse analytics for your data integration purpose because we are focusing on the module data integration solution and within this we will be focusing on Azure Synapse analytics for the integration purpose within this image you can see that this architecture is going to include a, a a part of control node which is a main brain we call it in fact in, uh, within this architecture and uh, also you have other pool of computing nodes which are SQL so how this is going to work is in this control unit uh, we, which we call it as the brain of the architecture it's in front of the interface uh, with all the application that uh, this is the node okay so you submit a query for example there's an query which was uh, written uh, could be a, a TSQL uh, query statement and uh, Synapse Analytics turn them into uh, utilize the named poly base so this is a poly base so with these uh, external data the user has you know sent a query so that's going to enable you to you know retrieve the query data from a relational or a maybe non-relational sources okay it can retrieve from anywhere so you can save uh, the data in a read SQL table uh, within the synapse analytics service so that's how it's gonna work uh, in a overall architecture now let's understand the components of uh, Azure synapse analytics so that being said there are a couple of things that we need to know learn the first thing uh, the component wise we could say the, there are five key components that we should be learning the first one is synapse SQL pool so SQL uh, pool will be useful for both serverless as well as the dedicated resources nodes to work with the using the node uh, based architecture for a predictable performance and the cost you can create a dedicated SQL pools for unplanned or maybe ad hoc uh, workloads you can use always available or uh, maybe you could also use the uh, serverless SQL endpoints uh, for the Synapse SQL pool so Th that's about the Synapse SQL pool. Now let's look at the Spark pool. Synapse Spark pool is a cluster of servers running Apache Spark to process data and you write your data processing logic using one of the four supported languages. Uh, so in this case the four, when I say four, like a Python, uh, Scala, SQL and .NET, of course via .NET uh, for Apache Spark. Apache Spark for Azure Synapse is going to integrate with Apache Spark, the open source big data engine used for data preparation and data engineering ETL and machine learning purpose. And now the pipelines. So when we look at the Synapse pipelines, this is the this is going to leverage the capabilities of your Azure Data Factory and it is a cloud-based ETL and the uh, data integration service that's going to allow you to you know, create data driven workflows for your orchestrating data movement and transferring or transforming data at a scale and you could even uh, include activities that uh, transform the data as it is transferred 
or you might combine data from a multiple sources together that's where the synapse pipeline uh, is one of the component that is used and synapse link the other one synapse link is a component that's going to allow you to connect to cosmos db if you see here the link also shows the cosmos db and you can use it to perform near uh, real-time analytics over the operational data stored in a cosmos db and the studio that is uh, synapse studio is a web-based idea that's uh, that can be used essentially to work with all capabilities of uh, Azure Synapse Analytics and you can use Synapse Studio to create SQL and the Spark pools, define and run pipelines and configure links to external sources. That's where you could use the uh, links and the uh, studios. So that's all about the components of Azure Synapse Analytics as a designing solution side. Now let's try to understand when to use this as your synapse analytics. So there are you know three major uh, points that we can identify. Let's say uh, when you have a variety of data sources uh, to use as your synapse analytics for code-free ETL and data flow activities, you would be using. That's the first case. And the second case would be when you have uh, a need to implement a machine learning solution by using maybe Apache Spark or using Synapse Analytics for built-in support for Azure machine learning purpose, you would be using. The last one uh, business case would be, or the use case would be when you have existing data stored on data lake and need integration with the data lake and additional input sources as your Synapse Analytics provides. Uh, seamless integration between the two so when management needs a real time analytics you can use the features like azure synapse link to analyze in a real time and offer insights of that so that's uh, that's use case now let's uh, think about what kind of analytics can you do with azure synapse analytics and that's about the slide so if you could look at uh, analytics type would be descriptive analytics let's see if you take it this uh, what is happening so within this the azure synapse analytics leverages the dedicated sql pool capability that's going to enable you to create a, a persistent data warehouse to perform this type of analysis you can also make sure uh, to use a serverless sql pool to prepare data from file uh, stored in data lake to create a data warehouse interactively and if you look at the other type uh, in this case the uh, predictive analytics what is luckily to happen so in this case uh, the azure synapse analytics uses its integrated apache spark engine and azure synapse spark pools for predicting uh, or predictive analytics with other services such as the uh, Azure Machine Learning services or Azure Databricks can be used. So th this is what happens. So if you look at another question, what needs to be done? So for this, this type of data analytics can you know, look at executing actions based for example a real-time or near real-time analysis of data using predictive analysis uh, and as your synapse analytics provides this capability through both apache spark and azure synapse link and by integrating streaming technologies such as azure stream analytics Another common question could be when to choose Azure Data Factory over Azure Synapse Analytics. So I've made a simple table for you to you know make it easy to understand. Let's say I put it here a criteria over Azure Data Factory and Synapse Analytics. So you could you know compare with this uh, simple crit uh, criteria. For example, here data sharing. So when it comes to the data sharing, as your data factory, what it does, it does it can share the, across the different factories. But here, as your Synapse Analytics, is no sharing of the data. And when it comes to the solution template, uh, you could you know get those Azure uh, 
data factory templates gallery these things and these things are provided with the synapse workspace knowledge center and integration runtime across region support it's going to support um, cross region data flow also but as your synapse and Altex is uh, it's not going to support across region data flows and monitoring point of view uh, as your data factory can integrate with as your monitor and uh, with the synapse analytics it can uh, integrate with your diagnostic logs in Azure monitor uh, that's where it's gonna integrate and coming back to the monitoring of uh, spark jobs for data flow it's not supported in Azure data factory because that's not meant for it but here it's supported synapse spark poles so these are the key differences and you need to know kind of when you're trying to you know design for your integration solutions that being said, we will conclude here within this lecture. Thank you for watching this. We'll catch you in the next lecture.